am Toko Zilebapeta. I have been translating the novel Ichala Lama Wele by S.E.K. Mkai. Ichala Lama Wele can be translated into English as the lawsuit of the twins. It shows the manner the court cases were deliberated by Amakosa. Mkai was born in Alice at Kumahashe. But there, there are some years of his childhood that he spent uh, at her mother's home in the Transkai. Seemingly, that is where he learned or he watched when the deliberation of cases were proceeded by the king or chief or the headman. You know, the controversy in this book is that these two twins, you know, twins are born on the same day. But the youngest twin, when, this, when the woman, uh, their mother was in labor, the youngest twin uh, showed his hand first and immediately the midwives cut the joint of the little finger. And we say that is in in Kosa. And thereafter, the finger went back to the mother's womb. Some few, mm, that is hours after that, the other twin was born. The one that regards himself or is regarded as the eldest one, Babini. This book was written long time ago. You know, when pure Kosa was used, you know, there were some words that were struggling, you know, <laughs> to translate because I didn't even know them so that we, I had to do a lot of research, you know, and also to analyze the text in order to get the meaning of the word, you know. In as much that some words we felt that uh, we should leave them as they are. If you remember, for instance, I talked about, you know, when the poet is starting a, po a poem, you know, ho oh, ina, ho oh, ina. We felt that if we take that word away, the beauty of the language, you know, will not uh, be shown. Uh, there are some words uh, also, there are other English, this word of English as well, you know, we felt that if we just say it's the cutting of the finger, you know, the reader would not understand why the cutting of the finger, you know, we had, uh, I had to explain that it is customary for some Kosa clans, you know, to cut um, that is the joint of a finger. It does not need to be a little finger. It depends on that particular clan, you know. So there were some words that were not, I can't say difficult to translate, yes, because if we, we would translate them, they would give another meaning, yeah. So that is why we had to have a glossary sometimes at the we had to have a glossary at the end of the book so that people could look at those terms that are not familiar uh, to them. Mm -hmm.